G'day all, I'm Sharpie101 and welcome back to episode 7 of my Hardcore Automation Nation series. I thank you once again for joining me. Last episode we built up the drone printer just over there and built up the cargo drone and unknown signal in preparation to build this monstrosity of an auto drilling rig. So, moving on to something different before we get to that very shortly in this episode. I want to show off the Unknown Signal Retriever Drone, Mark, what, 3.5 now, I guess. As the last time you saw it, I added the two thrusters on the sides, but since then, I've got an overridden gyro on the top and two more timer blocks for the docking and the starting sequence. So, let's get this going to go and grab that Unknown Signal. Make sure it's not moving, like always. Go to the Signal Drone's remote block. Remove the old one. Add the new one in the right position. And set it up. So let's go the collision avoidance on like normal and lock those pads groups. Let's start that one timer block to disconnect it turn the autopilot on and switch the battery from recharge while on the base to auto so it has a hundred percent power to do its job when it gets to the unknown signal it will then lock on hopefully it doesn't move away or blow up or anything like that as that's the one downside to this blueprint and this drone it will then come back to signal approach come down to the dock Turn on that overridden gyro to spin around 360 degrees to dock up. It is set to 2, so it doesn't override the magnetism of the connector. And then it will lock up and turn the battery on to recharge again, thus finishing everything up and dropping its payload. So hopefully that'll get everything and everything will be good. Oh, no. Nah. It's one of those roll away ones I guess. Hopefully it's not a blow up one so it doesn't damage my drone. That's always the worst case scenario. So as it comes back you may notice the zombies are back. The spiders are completely gone forever. I figured out what the name of them was to add them to the blacklist of MES's creature spawner.sbc which I'll flash on screen. Uh, yeah space underscore zombies slash yeah, what the spiders were called was insane. I, I would never have guessed it. I tried everything. Absolutely everything. But luckily, the MES creator, uh, Meridius slash Lucas, I think the name is, I could be wrong, uh, commented or replied to my comment quick smart in how to find out the name of it. So that was extremely helpful. So here we go. It will then not be able to override that connector and then lock up after 30 seconds of this timer block here. So in that time it would have dropped the payload as it got to this signal docking GPS point. So let's move on to the next thing to make sure I've got enough resources and components to build this monstrosity. Let's get into our first easy script. So I'm going to clear this to make sure that it's a brand new block as if I just placed it. Very easy, nothing there. Go to Browse Scripts, add Izzy's Inventory, check the code, okay. Nothing more to do on that block. To control the script, however, you need LCD panels, all these text panels. So what I want to do is I want one there, one there, a big in and a big in there. So easy inventory those ones out. Weld them up. And all you have to do is add specific names to the LCD panel name. Very, very, very simple. So let's get these other two LCDs before I go up the top. Go. Come up the top. Weld these ones up. And I'll name these very quickly while I'm here. This one, it doesn't matter the name or anything before. So, for instance, Izzy's panel. Doesn't matter. What matters is the capitalization. So, caps does matter. You want capital IIM dash main. Right there. This one here, I want capital IIM 
dash warning. Warnings, sorry. And that's it. I'll even change that LCD again to Izzy's just for future reference. The script will take a second to figure out the names of those as their tick sequence is a little slow. It's like every like two or three seconds. In the meantime, let's rotate that to what we want. Uh, same thing. Izzy's. Perfect. Oh, if it was properly capitalized, there we go. Doesn't matter if it is or not. Uh, yeah, just for sakes. Uh, this one here, I want IIM-inventory. Pretty please. Same thing on this one. Let's go with the normal. Get rid of the name. And this one here, let me look at my notes quickly. That's right. That's right. The main importance of this script for me at the moment. Auto crafting. Oh, beautiful, beautiful item in this script. So quickly, I'm going to delete this as I added this for an example I'll show you in just a moment. So there we go. So auto crafting on an LCD will show you exactly what you want and what is in your current grid. So for instance, if I wanted to build more solar cells, which I actually do, I need to build 400 of those. I currently only have 11, but let's add 400 to production. The script will then add it to the assembler and build them up for us. Just like so, nice and easy. So I'll actually just go back and get rid of this and just add 20 for now. That should be fine. As I don't have a lot of silicon, as I want to show off what I've done to the pugs so recently. Let's get into this bad boy, shall we? And I'll show you what you can do with the inventory LCD. What you want to do, and I won't explain what the code is, but you want component, or you want ingot, or or 100,000. Um, I'm choosing 100,000 specifically for the fact that it's a nice round number, like 100%. You can do a million, two million, it doesn't really matter. The capitalization obviously does matter once more. So I'll just okay that. It's now changed it to exactly what I have in this grid. Let's just zoom in a little closer like so for you. Nice and easy. You can do all ice, bottles, uh, but I'd suggest go check out the script's wiki as it explains a lot. But it may be easier to just check out the script in your programmable block in-game to then just go and add it to an LCD and see for yourself as it's much easier that way. So let's move on to this cargo drone as we need to build this bad boy up. I need to remove two of these batteries, probably these two here, and swap it up for a welder to make my life so much easier on this as I ain't got no jackpack. So that's going to be interesting. First of all, I need to go out and let's get a little bit of silicon with the pug. All I've really added is I've tried out auto docking with this, same as the unknown signal drone, but it's too chunky, full of ores when it gets back and it just takes way too long. I can do it myself much faster. All I've really added is another timer block to just perform the docking sequence. Switch the lock and switch the battery and the thrusters to like recharge and on and off kind of thing. There we go. Fly on down here. Button 7 to switch up the flight and the driving mode has not changed a bit. Uh, other than that, I think I got rid of like two or three thrusters because it was just a little too much power needed. But um, yeah, let's move on over here as it should be nice and easy to get to this silicon. Uh, where's the big hole? I think that's it just there. Cool, cool, cool. So while I'm drilling up, I'll explain a lot of the stuff I've been quite busy with this week actually um, apart from work which is why I'm recording this practically the day before it's released on the Monday unfortunately but it is what it is flip over to the flight so this week as I said I fixed the zombies so there's no more spiders I'm sick of the spiders they were making me so angry so that's all fixed I don't have to worry about it anymore uh, wait 
I also finished building a really accurate um, stopwatch and clock, a digital stopwatch and clock, which is quite insane, actually, uh, as the more triggers a timer block is done, the less accurate it is, as every trigger takes, like, literally less than 0.1 of a second to do it, but over a course of, like, an hour, you lose so many minutes and seconds, it's just not worth it, so... My stopwatch sl slash clock works solely on velocity through a piston and sensors. But I plan to release a, a video on it so you can download it yourself and use it in your worlds for whatever you want. Other than that, I've built and upgraded the minefield drone for the Circle of Protection drone tower, which... Uh, the problem and the reason why I wanted to upgrade it is I activated my circle of protection drone tower and tried to like build up the mines again after they were dropped and come back. It then made me pretty much reprogram the timer blocks and the remote GPSs all over again to then activate it. So I've redesigned the... Uh, drone to be able to not have to worry about doing all that gobbledygook rubbish or so many things at once. I should be good at this, but I'm not too good at that. That's why I cut out a lot of stuff for the fact that I guess you peeps don't want to watch me either screw up or you don't need to watch a lot of the drilling and a lot of the time wasted um, throughout off-camera, etc. But, um, yeah. Other than that, I'll be bringing out a lot of videos, hopefully this week. So, like and subscribe and comment your thoughts down below. Including, like, my vanilla sorting system, vanilla elevator... Um, the minefield drone, I might as well do another video on that as it changed it up quite a bit. It might even be a lot more simplified as my first tutorial series. It was, they're, they're good, but they are my first attempt at YouTube videoing, I guess you'd call it. I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go, come on back. You may notice I'm actually much better at docking this up now. There we go. Nice and quick. Press the 9 to dock it up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, with this inventory, since I now have silicon and I can show you, as I had none, what you can do if something from a mod is not showing in this list. I'll also be testing something out for the fact I'm using the daily mods. Uh, sorry, daily needs. So, go to your assembler and add exclamation point learn as that. Go to the production of that assembler itself and queue up, say, a hundred of that item, of that modded item. Eventually, it will then delete it from it after learning it, and it will then get rid of that exclamation point learn tag in the name just like that. After that, it will then be right on this list, and the script would have learnt it. There it is, right there, nice and simple. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, let's get into this drone. Uh, remote access. Uh, remote, if I can type. Let's get the cargo drone. Uh, I need to disconnect. Fly over here. Now, I need to remove the batteries on the front of it make my life much easier plus add an extra co uh, keyword on the connector so that Izzy's inventory doesn't automatically sort it really annoyingly um, that should be good just there that should be good enough no it's not I need it to move a little more forward 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 all the way pretty please bring it up all right cool that should be good Unfortunately, I'm going to lose all this power, but it is what it is, so... I'll probably have to turn a thruster off or two. Um, as I don't think I'll have enough power to run these big, gigantic 
battery uh rust is on the side There we go. Um, what I might do is I might just grind that down to non-functional and the same as that to try and save as much power as possible. Uh, where's my welder? There it is. Nope, don't have the stuff. Nice and easy. Oh, I'll need to add another camera as I'm pretty sure I would have just deleted it. Uh, add that. Give me stuff. Uh, do I have a camera here somewhere? No. Yeah. Should be nice right there. We go nice and easy. Uh, to make my life a little easier, what I might do is fly this up like that and add another camera. Alright, like so. Yeah, right there, please. Good. Uh, let's bring it down and over. Awesome. Come to me, my prey. Camera. Let's rename this one, just like so. Nice and easy, and then when I get into its thingy majiggy, like so. Front. Awesome. Excellent. So let's go into the cargo drone's remote block. Assign camera front. So every time we connect to it via the remote access like so, it'll go straight to the camera nice and easy. And then what we want to do from here, delete, delete, uh, camera front, view, camera bot, view. So now we should be able to switch between the two of them. Like so. Nice and easy. So let's go up here. Oh, for some reason it, it kicked me out. I don't know why it's been doing that. Uh, switch to the bottom. Oh, nice and easy. Doesn't matter about the orientation. Cool, oh, cool. Oh, what I need to do. I need to add a code word to this connector. Let's just search for it. Connector. So what I want to do is, it is cap sensitive, so I need to look at my notes again. It is capital N-O, sorting like so, with that. Which means, so this highlighted right here, exactly as it is, it will then ignore this grid, so it doesn't take everything out that I'm putting into it. So, 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 so... How am I going to do this? I should just dump a hell of a lot of stuff in it, I think. Uh, inventory... Why not? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, no, because I'm an idiot. There it is. Because I'm silly. Um... Okay, I'm going to have to change out that sorter as well very quickly. So give me a sec. Excellent. There we go. Now this should work. There we go. Oh, steel plate, of course. There we go. Alright. I go drone. Goody. So let's try this again. No sorting. Wrong one. That one. Ah. Alright. Let's try that again. Let's connect it back up. go doesn't matter about the orientation let's connect let's get this back on the G menu and lock it up 30 
nice and simple. All right, let's get back into what we want to put into it. Um, cargo. Drone cargo. All right, so let's see if we can do stuff now. Yes, thank you very much. So we need lots of that. We want that and that. We're going to need a lot of them. Just dump as much as we can in, shall we? There we go. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, terminal. Cargo drone. Alright, let's see how we go. Oh yeah, very chunky. Why is it doing that? Every time I do that, it kicks me out. Maybe because it doesn't have enough power? Yeah, it doesn't have enough power, so I'm going to have to destroy another one. That's alright. Oh. So where I had enough, um, move it over further. There we go. Alright, it's modified, but we can always just build up another one. There we go. Much better. Uh, block tools. On five. Alright, let's see how we go. Bit of a chunky one. Um, Alright, so what I need to do is I need to come down and sort that out now that we've got all that set up. So what I plan to do... Let's just do... I have no steel plates. Nope, never do. Give me uh, one there. And I'll just do a big block right there. There we go. Alright. Right, access. Alright, what I might do is rename this. Like so. Nice and easy. Good, good. Alright. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, it's probably missing a little something, something. Just like that, I love the multi grid projector plugin. Ain't it awesome? Makes life so much easier. Building up that piston on the inside. Okay. Get that spotlight in and the light. There we go. Get that connector in as well. Good, good. good. Let's move on to the next one. Go over this side. Finish all this up. Alrighty then, here we are finally. We had a bit of a storm and we couldn't really see, so I finished this off as much as I could for the next episode, as we'll disconnect it and move it to where we want and start it up. But as promised, here we are with the unknown signal. Let's go grab it, shall we? 
let's go to the remote block and do the normal stuff and things. I've already removed the old one, so we can just add the new, get it into the right position. Let's get to the remote block and turn the collision avoidance on and lock those pads underneath. Let's start it up and watch it go. Fantastic. So, as we sign off and as this episode ends, I really have a busy week ahead of me. I've got about three or four mini tutorials I'll be making and or releasing within this week and next week, which is why I didn't release anything at the end of last week. Um, as work and family and just life in general does get in the way. I am recording this episode like a day or two before it's released. So let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, if you like what you see and you want to see more, go and download most of these blueprints for yourself as a lot more will be along the way very shortly this week or next, including that accurate digital clock I was talking about. Uh, the minefield drone will have been upgraded. Uh, I'll have the signal drone on there for sure. My vanilla sorting system when the episode comes out in like a week or two. My vanilla elevator. As well as I'm pretty sure I've already got an episode of the multi-grid projector which I'll put in the top right hand side of the screen right now. As well as anything else. What else have we got? I think that's just about everything, but we've got time for me to think while this comes back. Perfect. Looks like it grabbed it. Let's go to the terminal. Will I be able to see it? No, not yet. It's not close enough. That's all right. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way of that, as that'll be pretty bad. Go. I should be able to connect to it now. Nope, maybe not. I don't know, it's been a recent bug of Space Engineers that every now and then you just can't connect to the camera. Been quite strange, actually. Here it comes, all the way back once more. Oh. You may notice I did clean up the voxels. Uh, performance issue testing. I may get rid of uh, Meteors. Let me know what you think in the comments as I'm only recording and playing on one PC, but... As I've said before, it is what it is. Here it comes. Coming on down, coming on down. And drop. Fantastic. Spinny, spin, spin, spin. And lock up. All by pressing the one button, as promised. It's exactly what this series and season is going to be all about. Automation, all on one button. Easy, 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 easy. 30 seconds. Two, one, about now-ish. I didn't get it right that time. What about now? Oh, I don't know, a little bit off. All right, what do we got? Um, this one could be a little bit more difficult. So let's see if I can just drill down a little bit. Get myself a little lower. I don't have a jetpack to help me on that. Here we go, come on. No, that's all right. See if I can get it moving. No, that's fine. Maybe even if I do this. Big brain. And can ya? No? Will you? No. No, you won't. That's alright. Can I push it? That's alright. Anyways, we'll end the episode right there. I thank you so much for joining. Until next time, where we move the actual drill rig itself over to where we want to actually finally start our main base super excited it's been such a long time that i've really wanted to get that going up and running it's been great so thank you once again for watching until next time like and subscribe if you want to see more content as it always helps the youtube algorithm and myself till next time stay sharp